today, 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 as you can see, this is not our normal setup. We are improvising and we are trying to make, 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 make it the best, the best, the best out of what we're working with. We are currently in my living room in front of our Christmas tree. I actually have a little mini fiber optic tree here as well. Um, I was going to plug it in, but it is not giving ASMR sounds. Um, we're going to see how this goes. I have a little ring light set up. I have my regular microphone set up right here just in case the audio comes out doo-doo on my iPhone. But I... Uh, I wanted to give you a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of a life update and just have like a real heart to heart with you, but also show you some cutesy and fun, 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 fun things. Um, I've got a cup of tea here. It's weird, I never, I was going to say I never hear traffic noises when I'm filming in the other room, but that's not true. <laughs> Insert a montage of like every time a motorcycle is going down the street while I'm filming. Um, today is Tuesday, 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 Tuesday. And yesterday was the Christmas, Christmas goodies video, which... My hair was in that. <laughs> um, which hopefully a lot of you are enjoying. And I have a video. I have a video filmed for Friday. But it's more of like a... It's a Friday vibes video. Friday vibes video. And I like to put out peppier content. <laughs> On a Wednesday, I don't know. It's all made up, and the points don't matter really. But I, uh, I, I, I wanted to film this today, and I said, "Come heck or high water, I am filming." I had this whole setup set up in the girls' room on the floor, just like a really casual video, because that's where my dog was sleeping before. And literally, as I was about to press record, she got up and decided to move back here into the living room. And she's starting to snore, so I guess as long as she's happy, we'll make it, we'll make it work. I wanted to start off by saying thank you for being so kind and so understanding um, at this particular point in time. I have missed not one, not two, but three, three videos on the main channel and it like eats away. <laughs> it eats away at me. I know that life happens. I understand that things fall in, in line with priorities and responsibilities and, but I just, I love, I love this channel and I love you all so, so, so much that I don't know, watching those days go go by I, and like not putting something out there for you. I was like, ah. So anyway, that's why I was ultra determined to do whatever we got to do to get to get this next video together and spend time together. Because to be honest, I know in the comments you tell me that it is I help you, but this channel and this space and you and your comments is what helps me too. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I did want to go through a couple of things that Bestie gave me. Um, just like some really fun and light, light stuff. the shopping has a bunch of little goodies in it um, that I'm really excited 
excited to go through because I like, kind of went through this yesterday, but like I also had a, I, I was starting to go through it and like also something like was going on. Um, I normally reserve my, I don't want to say tea because it makes it sound like cheap kind of. Two pairs of these heart-shaped sunglasses. I live. Um, normally, I share like life updates and more behind the scenes, what's going on in my life things over on the BFF chat on my Patreon, and I do, and I will continue to. But in between my, I do those once a month. So in between my November one and December one. I felt that it was pertinent to put out a video here on YouTube because I know that in the last few weeks there have been times when I felt like I got comfort from watching and listening to other people on YouTube in different ways and I wanted to take the time to make a video that was accessible to the general public, if that makes sense. I just want to be able to put something out there for anybody who needs to feel like someone can relate to them or they can learn from me. Like, I just, I just want to put it out there. So thank you for allowing me this time and space. I know this is not our regularly scheduled programming, but... Um, to be honest with you, I feel I've been feeling the need to incorporate certain types of videos into this channel that are a little bit different from what we normally do. Don't get me wrong. I love a theme. I love a holiday. I love a reason to celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Baby, I love a haul. Okay? I love a haul. I love a haul. I love making haul videos. I love watching haul videos. But in the last few weeks, I have... I just want to be able to use my experience and my own personal feelings or tough hours, I tried to take a mental note as best as I could of like what would really comfort me right now and I want to work on translating that into content for you. Not all of the time because I feel like we gotta have a balance, you know what I mean? forward to challenging myself to find ways to hopefully hit the nail on the head and like really hone in on creating, creating content that will someone hammering outside <laughs> content that will like meet people's needs when they feel they might need it most. To give you a little bit of an update, my dog is doing really well. Really, really well. She's a champ, man. Like, um, the only reason she still has to be observed and not let out of mommy's sight. She doesn't do this for daddy, by the way. Um, she knows. 
She knows. Fortunately, my dog is incredibly intelligent. But she knows the second, the second that mom leaves the room or even turns her back, like my dog was sitting right here in the living room and my living room was attached to my kitchen, I turned around and had my back to her because I was tending to food on the stove. And in that moment, my dog tries to like lick where her boo-boo was which like it's healing wonderfully but like you shouldn't she like you know what i mean you can't not yet we're not there yet and she had been getting better about it but today twice today 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 she's trying to do her big one so she's back on her she's back on her house arrest <laughs> Is what it is. I also feel like, oh cute, oh. <laughs> so I've been trying to work my life and my filming schedule around taking care of her and which has, knock on wood, gotten much easier because she's, you know what I mean, she's not on as many medications as she was. She's not as, um, she's just, she's better. She's improving. But, you know, I'm just trying to also balance that with getting things done around the house. Just like regular life stuff. I'm trying to balance that with my needs. <laughs> because I don't want to come on here and... Like, no one wants to watch an ASMR video, or many, or like most other videos, with someone who's in a doo-doo mood. <laughs> um, we have candy canes. Candy canes, candy, 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 candy canes. <laughs> but all of her scheduled doctor's appointments are complete, as are mine. So now we're just trying to like get back, get back to normal. And I think part of my, uh, I don't want to say struggle or hesitation is that I'm a zero to a hundred type of gal. Like when I start, let me know if you're the same way. When you start a new job, like you don't know what you don't know until you go through training. But like, I'll be honest with you. I want to know everything day one, even though that's literally possible but I don't care and I don't want help like I just want to be able to do it and I want to get to the point where like I can just like whew. and I think maybe that's part of the uh, ASMR earring haul I think that's part of the temptation for me is that I feel I don't like being away from you guys at all and I don't like being kept from kept from is harsh but you know what I'm saying I don't like being feeling like I can't get to you or the channels or my Etsy uh, for many reasons but I'm so close like we're and this is a good thing like we're making progress we're getting there and it's so close I can almost taste it it being like normal also put some green beads that she recently got in here because she showed them to me through video and I was like oh my gosh I don't think I have like I think that this is a darker green than what I have <laughs> so I was like maybe when you get back I can look at them and this is her she's like that's that's totally her I say can I just look at them and she's like next time I see you and she's basically like, here's 50. <laughs> here's a whole pack. Um, 
yeah so we're, we're getting closer and i know that i always want to jump the gun but i'm also a really patient person in the sense that like okay maybe not but <laughs> but we're here today just feels like every day feels um like close to normal or like a shadow of normal or completely abnormal but but just like off you know how sometimes okay here's a good example do you know sometimes like let's just say you go to school and school is what it looks like in real life but when you dream about school it's like your school and you know it's your school but it's like kind of different that's what every day feels like and has felt almost every day has felt like that since this all happened like there are elements of my life that are still the same but maybe it's just me you know i think it's just me that i feel different so like today for example um it didn't like i wanted to film today but i didn't feel like 100 percent in the mood to film because i just there's still a lot more going on but it didn't feel right to put on makeup but it i know that it would have felt even more not right to have this whole day go by and not spend time with you like that would have felt worse that would have felt bad and taking the time that i needed to to shower and blow dry my hair and put on makeup actually felt a lot less like strange felt a little it feels good i feel good i feel i know i made the right choice i hope this video comes out after all this gosh darn it <laughs> um yeah the other thing that I'm kind of like out of out of balance on is what type of content and how I like should present in my content right now because part of me wants to like get back into the old routine and the old swing of things and then the other part of me is like oh my god no you should make like the most heartfelt sympathetic empathetic whichever of the two like the most heartfelt genuine meaningful hopeful loving warm video like every video your next video needs to be that um ultimately i think i'm just putting too much pressure on myself in this situation but uh am a human one of the things that i have been grappling with in my mind is what to talk about because i grew up feeling like unless you had have something positive to say like don't say anything at all like no one wants to hear about your struggles or your problems and then also there's like the part of me that's still very disney cast member oriented in like you never want to it's a show the show must go on you always want to maintain good show and a great positive experience for guests but where I run into some in internal conflict is like, I always want you to feel like this is a safe place and a safe space and a happy space. But I also don't want to seem impersonal or not relatable. But I also don't want it to overshare because I know that I've seen other ASM artists. Actually, not even just ASM artists, like youtubers in general like overshare and all it takes for me personally is just like want them to say one thing and i'll never forget it and i just like i can't i can't find total like release like relaxation or comfort in them because they say like i like i don't want to um like I don't know how to say it, but um, 
I think we're gonna go ahead and There are a lot of people, myself included, who could benefit from. I just was going to order nail stickers too. <laughs> um, could benefit from just like hearing what's going on in someone else's life. And I know sometimes when I do, I can be like, wow, okay, maybe, maybe what's going on in my life isn't as bad. Or, oh wow, um, they're just like me. Or, oh wow helps me put things into perspective or I can't believe we're going through the same things and I'm so glad that they said something because otherwise I wouldn't have known and I feel less alone and I think my desire to help someone feel less alone outweighs maintaining a perfect image and that's on period sis <laughs> The last, I feel like two months in particular, have just been like boom, 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 boom. Um, we had a hurricane come through in October, October, <laughs> and then two weeks after that, my dog came down with like, she must have had like some sort of a stomach virus or something, but she was like really not feeling well for at least a week. And then two weeks after that, um, about two weeks after that, um, she and I had this happen. And it's been about two and a half weeks since then. And I just, okay, so I just low-key had to wait like 20 minutes for my refrigerator to stop humming. <laughs> anyway, what I was saying was like on top of everything else, do you guys ever have this happen where I guess this is where the when it rains it pours moment comes out but like so we're still trying you oh you are one in a melon you are one in a melon we're still working on getting our roof repaired from the hurricane which was in October I had our washer like our clothing washing machine broke and our dryer is literally also in the process of breaking it's like uh, and then my, my my microwave was like malfunctioning the other day and it was scary. I had a, a, a surface light come on in my car and luckily a friend of mine was able to like fix it. But now my car is making another noise. So like my poor husband is on his way home and after he gets home, he's going to turn around and take my car back out. Well, he's going to go back out and take my car to go like get looked at. And I don't even know, like, I don't even know what that's going to cost. My poor dog, like, I, bless her heart, but, like, the dog emergency room, as you might imagine, is thousands of dollars. And, like, I'm so grateful that she was able to receive all of the care that she needed. And then I am also still waiting to see what my health insurance bill is going to be. And I cannot imagine. I cannot imagine. I cannot imagine. So, like, I understand. I understand that there are people out there with horrible, crippling problems and setbacks. And that even all of these things that are happening would feel, like, simultaneously are nothing, nothing compared to literally even people who probably subscribe to this channel. And I don't want you to think that I'm coming on here as an ungrateful content creator. And I'm like, oh, my life is so hard. No, like, I, ugh, I don't even know if I'll even post this video, but like, I just have to throw it out there because if I was going through everything that I was going through, and I was sitting there and I saw a content creator that I watch or like Ariana Grande come on and talk about how she was like just going through it. I would be, I mean, I would feel really bad, but at the same time I would be like, oh, so I'm not the only one. So I'm not the only one. Um... A story.
strawberry. Me trying to intersperse like fruit pencils with my life. <laughs> um, but we have a strawberry, cherries, watermelon, blueberries. I'm I'm living. I'm living for these. Oh my god! I just realized. Oh my goodness! They're scented. They're scented. Oh my goodness! This is so. I'm not. Oh my gosh, this actually smells like watermelon. This is crazy. Is this is this what the kids got these days? <laughs> um, wow. That was, oh my gosh, I'm so glad we discovered this together. That's so awesome. Um, but I'm just kind of like having this feeling of also like this this it's a not quite like not a paradox not a catch-22 but i always have this wonder like am i doing the right thing in life am i where i'm supposed to be in life and in this situation in particular it's been like well thank god that I do what I do because if I had a job where I had to work out of the house or like it was Disney with a really strict attendance schedule and stuff like I'd be sunk I'd be sunk because my dog has required 24 7 care for the last two and a half weeks you know what I'm saying and then at the other the other part of me is like I feel I just wonder, and I know that, like, your brain tries to make sense of everything when everything feels, like, out of control. But at the same time, my brain is like, maybe it is life just telling me that I, this is not what I should be doing? That I'm not in the right place? That I need to be out and, like, trying to do a 9 to 5 hustle so I can, like, make back the money that I've invested? over the last two years and make back some of the money that we have to put out like we still don't know and i don't know if we'll ever know who owned the dogs that came after us like it just seems so it just seems so unfair again i understand that my problem is like this compared to like people who are actually going through it but like, I don't know, I, I, I don't know, so just trying to, I, I've just been having to take it literally like an hour at a time, most days, I'm so grateful, like when I got to film, I got to film What's in Besties Makeup Bag Part 1 and 2 back to back, because my dog was sleeping in the room with me. And that, like, in that moment, not even, like, the content itself, just the feeling and the energy that I get and feel like I can give to you through those, like, through digital content, like, through video. That's when I have this feeling of, like, how can what I am doing in life be wrong? How can I be on the wrong path when it just feels so right? Like, I feel like I should be doing this, but I just... Then why, are, why does it feel like so many obstacles of varying degrees feel like they get in are trying to get in the in between me and what I love doing the most and and maybe maybe there is no reason maybe things just happen and that's like how it goes in life you know oh my god there are so many more squishies <laughs> this is a little tissue bag it says for your happy tears You know, maybe it's maybe it's not at all connected or related and I'm probably just being I'm probably just being self-centered 
and thinking that it's about me or that there's a message in everything where I'm supposed to be learning some life lesson. That's probably most likely. I don't know. Do you guys know what I mean? Like, is it... Do you ever... Maybe, maybe it's a self-confidence thing. Maybe subconsciously I'm, like, worried about continuing on this, like, path of my own and and doing what I'm doing. And I'm, like, subconsciously looking for signs. Like, oh, is this a sign that I should be going out and getting, like, a regular job? Is this a sign that I shouldn't be doing this anymore? Is X, Y, and Z which delays my filming or prevents me from creating con- you know what I mean? Like, does that mean I'm not supposed to be doing it? Am I just looking for answers outside of myself when I should just be, like, I should be calling the shots, not waiting for- to, like, gather clues and environmental factors? <laughs> You're like, we did not sign up for this. No, you didn't. Anyway, that's just currently what I'm working with. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. That's currently what I'm working with here in life. Um, oh my goodness. So, I want to thank you for... Oh my god, they keep getting cuter. How many are there? How many are there? But last year, last year, I had, what do you say, 37, Dudley? Um, yeah, anyway, I want to thank you for bearing with me on this. Um, I don't know if this video will ever see the light of day. And rest assured that I will be clenched if and when it comes out. Because this is, like, very vulnerable for me. Um, but I just... Sometimes you gotta take a risk, and uh, I'm not I'm not a gambler. I'm not a risk taker traditionally, but uh, I think if my experience and my current thoughts and situations can help at least one other person feel better or feel like they can relate to someone and they're not alone, then it will have been worth. Thank you so much for everything and with that being said